Warning, this video will explain in depth the concept of target bully using a mythical glory ranked gameplay. Important pointers are highlighted in the video, and players like you who watch to the end of the video will see drastic increase in your knowledge about how to be a better team. Guaranteed. Just for the thrill of it, nothing kind of it with you, just the thrill of it. Guys, how's we doing? Welcome back to Team Assassination. This is Boy Assassin Dave, and welcome to another episode of What Pros Never Tell You series featuring the Target Bully. What is Target Bully? In short, Target Bully is referring to an unified effort from an entire team to focus down one enemy hero at once. Basically, instead of spreading fire and hitting three different targets at the same time, a team should almost always put their energy on one single target that they agree on. To take a step further, let's say if you're a mid laner. In general, you should consciously follow up on your tank's engage and throw damage onto the same target being crowd controlled. But let's say if you are a solo lane fighter, of course your job is to find the flank onto the opponent backline. But if the opponent marksman already popped that purifier or flicker, instead of chasing and tunnel vision, you should turn your focus around onto what our team is doing and come help the frontline team fight. But let's say if you're the main initiator for your team, and your team is engaging onto an opponent backline, but the opponent fighter or assassin is looking for a flank onto your backline, instead of pursuing enemy tanks, the entire team should shift their focus and tension onto the opponent fighter together and target him or her down first. With the concept out of the way, let's quickly walk into a Mythical Glory ranked gameplay where I will be demonstrating the target bully in action. Alright guys, welcome back to the gameplay portion where I'll be demonstrating the concept of target bullying with the hero none other than Harris, who recently received a huge buff. Uh, the cooldown, the cooldown on the first skill, on the second skill is definitely crucial, and then it's really, really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some damage to that. The our our buff is coming out. Let's do buff first. No lag. Okay. And next item you want to buy is your boots. If you finish your jungle item, and then if you finish level one jungle item, and you get your boots, you get your blue buff. You should be able to dash indefinitely with your ultimate. So there we go. Like this. With this, initially there's not too much to talk about. I just standard farm. Yeah. Rock with this is gonna be able to farm a lot faster. Okay. They have a stun. Yeah. But they can't do anything with it. There's another heal right here. After this, I'll be level 4. Okay. Alright, this guy's gonna flicker out. There we go. They stole the thing, but what cost? Oh my god. Okay, did you just cure yourself? I think you did. <laughs> this guy turned around trying to harass our rock, right? Not getting to the point of target bullying, but if somebody do stupid stuff like that, you gotta punish them to death, you know? There, there, is, a, uh, there is a special place for people like that. It's called the hell of stupidity. Yeah. So now what I'm gonna do is finish the uh, um, the act the special boots. Oh, he didn't he, did he stun me? Okay. Almost dead. He actually got a stun on me, and then I was trying to do damage to him instead of running away. But the stun duration was actually quite long. So next time when you play against Farsa, just know that you cannot be uh, targeted on the first skill. Now first skill AOE uh, actually surprised me. I did not expect the first skill from Farsa to to be to be hit landing me because a lot of times I was completely out of the range and then it still hit me for some reason. Um, okay. Now I'm just by myself. Let's see if Akai shows up in time. He just walk up over here. Hey, just get, just get Chow. Can you get him? Can you get him? No! Yes! They have five. <clears throat> nice purify, Jimmy. <sighs> that was unfortunate. They have way too many mid. And then, uh, <clears throat> Grog got hooked. I tried to save him. Unfortunately, they did have too much CC. That's fine. Let's go ahead and farm our, farm our jungle. Yeah. Sometimes when I have too much CC, you gotta respect the CCs. The enemy has slain the 
I got a Bruno who's free farming right now. Bruno has 2,000 gold. Okay, <laughs> let's go gank Bruno. I want to gank Kimi, but it seems like ganking Bruno is more of a priority. They might have four people, five people coming top. Let's wait. Yeah, that's right. Five, five people coming top. Nice hooks. All right, focus on Bruno, guys. <laughs> Okay, one more dash. There we go. There's another kill. <laughs> Let's see this guy gets away. Uh, Akai. I got... Uh, first, I got a marked. Uh, it's fine though. My O is in 4 seconds. Um, Let's reduce the heal on this. There we go. Wait. There we go. You're dead. Okay. <laughs> the successful gank on the top side. And then... Um, Let's take this. All their camps in our jungle. Yeah, <laughs> take all the available camps in the jungle. 11 seconds on my ult. With that being said, I'm gonna take a step back on my aggress on my aggression. Meanwhile, bottom lane, Kimi got soloed by Chao. Sometimes my skill doesn't trigger properly. I can't ult. And then they probably gonna come here and for this go crab. I need my I need my lovely minion to come help. There we go. Got it. <laughs> I just want to take this. I didn't want to take that camp, right? Didn't want to fight them because it might be uh, too risky fighting a uh, Bruno and then uh, Loli. Loli does a st Loli has a stun and then Bruno. Look at this. Try to get me. Uh, and Bruno has way too much damage. You gotta watch out because right now Loli is in the bush and then he can ult from the bush and you can't even see the animation on it. And that's just sad. If you got hooked, so nice. Turtle is up in five seconds. Let's tell the team. Uh, Kimi is in some trouble bottom lane. Okay. Tell the team that Turtle is up. Make sure he's not taking this time for free. If they take it, we're gonna fight them for it. Um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, you know, give them money. Give them a run for their money. They're working on it. They're working on it. Alright, I got ulted. It's fine. Okay, now we can do Turtle for free. Got it. There's nothing they can do to stop us. Got this one too. The red buff is up. <clears throat> oh, it's not actually. Never mind. <laughs> I thought it was, but it's not. <laughs> the unpredictable, right? You gotta. Okay. Originally, I was going on Bruno, but you saw the last team fight. When I was in, when I was focusing on Bruno, my team went on the Lolita. So instead of chasing Bruno, I ch I came back and focused Lolita. That's why everybody won this team fight. And now Ruby's gonna give me a really nice, nice. Okay, that was on the opposite side of. Oh my God, the wall, the save it all. Okay, all right, that ended that team fight real fast, real fast. Yeah, I, it, actually Lolita's shield block everything from me, except for my ultimate. Okay, make sure you don't get hooked, do you mean? See Chao over there, in that bush. They don't know I'm here. So, again, I'm just gonna follow my tank. Wherever he goes to, I will follow up. Top lane, Ruby, ooh, he missed it. He missed it. Now Ruby is still chasing though, which put Ruby in a lot of trouble, and he's dead. Okay, nice, nice job, bottom lane. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this tower, you know? While my team is like, there's nothing you can do to, to stop it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. And now we're gonna rotate to top lane, defend our top tier one tower. Uh, there are two cannon. Lolita's gonna do some damage to it. I don't think we can defend this. We can, we got it. We got it, there we go. Got it right on time. <laughs> the map is so poorly designed where you, it's really hard for you to, to defend like this, you know? But we got it, we got it. Uh, right now they're all up. What I can do is do our blue buff real quick and then ping their blue buff. Yeah, like this. Their blue buff. Their blue buff's coming up. Okay. Where do you go? Do you just camouflage? I got... What? What? What CC to me? Okay, so... This guy just suicided. Lolita is probably gonna suicide too. Sorry, not Loli. I mean Grok. Uh, there's no way we can go for their buff anymore. So... Okay. We got Bruno, who suicided. Uh, and now it's Farsa. Oh, Chao's ready for the kick, huh? Okay, if you're ready for the kick, I'm just gonna have to give you some kick of my own. All right, nice. 
Yeah. Now we're gonna go for this buff, and there's nothing you can do to stop us. We know Farsa was in that bush, so I stepped up and I scared him off. Uh, that's why we're we're going up though, over there. Um, Bruno's probably doing her doing his red. It's taken. We couldn't take turtle. Yeah. Oh damn. Oh my god! Are you are you kidding me? Okay. All right. Let's back out for now. I got <laughs> Franco actually landed a really lucky hook. Let's just put it that way. Oh, Farce is on the other side of the map. You see Farce is positioning, right? So, uh, don't Diago, don't Diago to Kimi, uh, the the the, the uh, turtle. There it is. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I'm waiting for the right moment. I'm just waiting for Franco to uh, for for our tank to engage, and then I'll just follow up, right? So not gonna go in on that until our tank get find some damage. Nice. Now Farsa is the next target. You can see uh, our uh, uh, mage, our Ruby was on it. That's why I, that's why I'm just following him up. Franco looking for a hook right now. Yeah, he wastes his hook. Yeah, got him. Nice hooks. Okay, find another another dodge the dodge the the hook. There we go. And get out. We got mid tower, and then we got their we got their uh, red buff. Their blue buff is supposed to come up soon, but right now our entire team is here. So let's go ahead and take the tower. Why? We'll give you the confidence to to defend tower like that. Okay. Actually, they have Farsa. That's, that's probably where the confidence come from. <laughs> but they're dead! So, I'm gonna go back for my blue. I need mana. It's very important. <laughs> blue buff is the most important uh, buff for for Harith, obviously. Because you need to spam. Oh my god. I just wasted my ultimate. <laughs> the buff just died in one shot. Okay. Red buff's coming up. Um, I, Kimi, do you want your red? Alright, go for it. I'm not even gonna touch it, you see? How nice of a teammate I am. And now I'm gonna follow Grok, right? Whoever he engage on is whoever you're gonna throw your skills on, all right? But obviously he can find, because Harith is a unique hero. You can actually get on backline pretty easily with this character. So, hmm, speaking of that, I'm gonna flicker out, nice. Wait, why am I not doing damage to that? Oh, nice flicker. Nice flicker lowly, flicker all on that, you know, I gotta say, that was pretty impressive. Okay, let's get out. So the Lord is up, and then we got a tower, that's that's what we wanted. Chow top lane was dead. Um, right now, we can just go ahead and take the take the Lord, and then be done with it, right? So at this point, just go for the objective. Like this. Okay. Oh, what the heck was that? Got it. All right, and uh, go crap. Ninety nine hundred gold. Uh, we're really farmed because uh, because we are able to focus on one target and then uh, go with our team. You can see that because we are heavily rewarded for that because we're taking a lot of kills and then because that we're snowballing. Enemy team didn't have a lot of farm, so let's push his wave in. Chow try to defend this tower right now, but he can't. Um, oh, Farsha's FK. I can't hit somebody. Nice cancel on the on the Kai. I can't hit anybody. Bye bye, Rock. He's in the fountain. In the oh, he survived like a god. All right, the tanks are so tanky, so tanky. Okay, I got hooked right here. Make sure I target on, on Bruno. Yeah, you see that hero lock? That's also part of the uh, target bullying, right? When you have the opportunity, go on. Targets like um, like Bruno. I just two shot him. So in this gameplay, you saw I was following Grok a lot, and then every time he goes on someone, I go on someone. When I was chasing chasing the marksman, the marksman gets way out of my range. I don't I don't go tunnel vision and follow that. You know, keep on chasing like um, a lot of people. You see a lot of people do. Instead, you come back to the team fight. You come back to the frontline team fight where your tanks are fighting. This way, you fight like a team because you reduce enemy numbers. 
uh, if you reduce one or two people, members from their team, that's already it's better than going in and trade yourself with the enemy uh, backline. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, turn notification bell on, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of What Pros Never Tell You. Bye. Just for the thrill of it, nothing